Hi, Microbe Hunter here and today I will not be hunting microbes, I'll be having a look at all these aries, all these aries. Uh, what is this? Uh, some people actually call this little organism here a sheep and uh, as a matter of fact uh, I'll be putting the sheep under the microscope, well actually not the whole sheep but only a small part of it. Okay, so let's get started. All these aries, well, was friendly enough to donate me a little bit of fur and I pulled on here and it didn't mind uh, and I had a little bit of a wool now and I decided to, to take it home and uh, put it under the microscope. That's a close-up, uh, it's not so clean I realized. There is a little bit of, uh, there are some seeds, some plant seeds in there. But in any case I could pull it out without any problems and uh, then I could take it home and at home I made a permanent slide uh, from the wool and I had a look at it. And uh, I did not take my plastic containers with me so I had to put it directly into the bag. Um, yeah. But at home a little bit of mounting medium on the glass slide and uh, basically what I've done is I tried to now cut a piece off with my scissors and to mount it. This was not so easy actually uh, because some of the wool strings they were kind of very long uh, but um, after a little bit of trying I actually did manage uh, to get a small specimen sample on the glass slide, a little bit more mounting medium on top and then of course uh, the cover glass and the wool itself well hmm, did not really like uh, to go into a very flat uh, position so I had to press uh, down a little bit and uh, of course the mounting medium also started to flow out a little bit so you have to be a little bit careful so that uh, you do not contaminate your objectives uh, with the mounting medium. Everything goes under the microscope and here we are in Brightfield. That is wool at uh, a four times with a four times um, magnified uh, objective so this basically shows you that there is already a surface uh, texture here this is using the 10 times objective and you can see that the wool itself the fur is not completely smooth but there are small scales on the fur the surface is textured and this is actually a sign that uh, we're talking about a natural product product here because many synthetic fibers are completely smooth Okay, yet at the higher magnification we can actually see this uh, quite nice. I think it could be that those scales actually that uh, cause uh, the wool actually also to stick together a little bit. Okay, and uh, of course focusing was a little bit difficult because there were so many layers on top of each other and uh, the specimen was a little bit thicker than I anticipated it to be. And here we can see a nice cut. Okay, um, this is the place where I cut one of the fibers and yet at a higher magnification and they're pretty transparent actually the, the individual uh, fur pieces. How do you actually call individual fur pieces? You don't call them pieces, you call them fibers maybe. Okay, well in any case um, I thought this was quite uh, nice and uh, quite interesting. Um, however, however I decided let's try to stain it. So I tried to put a little bit of the wool into fountain pen ink. Um, I tried to dip it in there. It didn't really want to go in there very well um, and uh, it was sticking to the tweezers as well and uh, unfortunately I decided discovered that uh, the ink uh, really was not well absorbed so I tried it with a marker as well. I tried to stain the wool with a marker and then look under the microscope but even that did not work because right now it's blue but later on under the cover glass um, all of the blue ink was lost again. So I decided to switch over to phase contrast. No not phase contrast, dark field of course. And here we see the same uh, strings, the same fibers again. Uh, bright on dark background we can also see now that they're quite transparent especially look at those places where the fibers overlap okay you can actually see through them they're a little bit glass like um, you do not see that of course uh, on the animal itself obviously uh, but at a higher magnification it becomes evident that uh, they allow quite a bit of light to go through so this is basically also shows that uh, I'm losing a little bit of depth of field again because I had to open up the condenser because uh, the dark field patch stop does require a lot of light. I had to open the condenser a little bit and we can see here as well that the individual 
fibers uh, not only are transparent but you can still see a little bit of something of the surface texture. I think it's quite interesting to actually observe um, all of the intricate details of everyday objects and that is basically a very simple specimen the sheep um, I think uh, that is really not difficult so the next thing is I want to get some fur from this guy over here okay but uh, I have to admit I did not really dare to pull on his fur and <laughs> I think that would be actually the next big challenge trying out all of the different fur types uh, of the zoo animals in any case I wish you a nice day a happy microbe hunting even though i did not look at microbes today bye bye all the best see you next time